Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Alondra. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be trying some press-on nails. These are the Impress Press-on Manicure Couture Collection. And as you can see, there's nothing in here right now because as you can see, I already have them on. And I absolutely love them. I am obsessed. So if you want to see the process of how I put these babies on, then just keep on watching so the first thing i did was cut my nails and as you can see i am looking at them to see which ones need to be cut a little bit because i do always just prefer to keep my nails short but then i noticed that they were really short and there was really nothing to cut so i instead just went into filing them instead of cutting them because there wasn't really much to cut so I decided to file them down as much as I could. And then I didn't show this step, but I did run my hands under the sink for a minute or two with warm water before putting on my cuticle softener and remover. Now I am going in with the cuticle remover and I am just rubbing it all over my cuticle area on all of my fingers on both hands. And then I am going in with this little tool that you see right here. I don't really know what it's called, but I do use one end of it to just kind of push back my cuticles, as you can see. And I do this for both of my hands. And then I use this other little weird tool which looks like a nail clipper but it is to cut your cuticles so I am just going over both of my hands and cutting the cuticles that I pushed back and around my my nail just any little you know um, cuticles or little pieces of I don't even know what they're called like hangnails or something I am just going ahead and cutting that. And then I went to go rinse my hands once again. I am choosing the sizing of the nails that I need for my fingernails.
and as you can see i am struggling a little bit because i could not find the middle finger size that i needed with just the solid color so i ended up having to use the one that has the little jewels on it not my personal favorite and not my personal preference but it will do so i went ahead and got those and now that i have them all now it is time to put them on i am just using the little pack that comes with the nails that is you know it's just a little kind of like a gauze and it has alcohol on it just so that i can go over my nails and remove any debris or you know any oils that may be on them so i am just doing that for all of my nails And it's pretty much explanatory from here. You just take off the little plastic that is on them. And I made sure to line them up as close as I could to my cuticle area, like the end of my nail. And just press down very, very firmly just so that I knew that they were being stuck on good and correctly. And I did start from my pinky towards my thumb because I do need my thumb to press on the nails. So I just decided to do my thumbs last. But so here I am just going over them, pressing firmly on every single one. And then I went ahead and did the same on the other hand. And once I put them all on, I went ahead and pressed on them one more time once they were all done. Just to make sure that the adhesive is stuck on the nail correctly. And then this is where I noticed that they were too long for me and I just was not liking the way that they were looking. So I tried filing them down, but it was just taking too long and it honestly was not doing such a 
big difference for me. So I did go ahead and I cut them with the nail clipper and I cut them down to the size that I prefer. And then I went ahead and I filed them. I had to go on, I had to file them around the sides and then to have the little square shape at the top. So that is what I did and I absolutely love them like this. So like I said, these are the end results. I absolutely love them. I am obsessed. Like I did mention, I highly recommend cutting them and then filing them down. That is how I personally prefer mine. If you do like short nails like myself, then that is what I recommend. At the beginning, they were just too long for me and I did not like them. I actually was thinking of taking them off, but now that they are short, I absolutely love them. So I'll show you one more time. Ah, they're so cute. I love them. Like I said, I am not too crazy about the middle finger. I do wish that they had the size that I needed for my middle, the same as the rest with just the solid color. But you know what? They look cute. I'm not too worried about it. But in the future, I do hope that I can find some with just one solid color. And this nail color is so good. I actually always prefer just natural and neutral colors. So this is a perfect, perfect color for me. And like I said, they are not perfect, but this is the first time that I actually do this at home with press-on nails, but I highly recommend them. I am so obsessed and I will definitely be going to the store and picking up some more so that I can, you know, try different ones once these are ready to come off but i hope you liked this video and i hope that it was helpful if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please comment down below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already turn on your notification bell because i will be coming back with more videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video